Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is January 1st, 2022. So happy new year. I uh, got a little bit of a different video I'm going to make for you here. Um, so right now, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's pretty dark out here. I'm standing at the entrance to my garage, pretty much where I normally set up the camera here for the time-lapse videos. And it's currently raining. Um, now, we are expected to get, they're saying, between three to five inches of snow tonight along with um they're saying i forget a tenth of an inch something like that of of ice uh as of right now it's still 36 degrees out and this is still coming down as rain and it was up in the mid to upper 40s today so i've debated normally what i would do is leave the driveway off and i would uh turn it on you know, once it started to accumulate, set the camera up, let you guys watch it melt. It's kind of been my MO for this channel and everything for a while. But I have had a lot of comments and people say to me, um, you know, why don't you turn it on before the snow starts? And, you know, one of the reasons I don't do that is because it doesn't make for a very good YouTube video when you're just uh, sitting here watching a wet slab. But... In this case, what I might do here, uh, we're like I said, we're still at 36. It's expected to drop down below freezing here overnight. And sometime between 9 p.m. night and 6 p.m. tomorrow, we're supposed to get three to six inches of snow. So one thing I thought I would show you is I brought out the um, FLIR camera here attached to the, uh, the iPhone. And uh, it's, a, it's a separate iPhone I have. And I just want to kind of want to show you guys how the slab has basically been warming up all day. So, so I'll switch over and put this video in here from what I'm recording on the FLIR. But as you can see, this is showing the driveway is 39 degrees right now. Um, obviously, it's going to get a little bit warmer once it gets closer to the garage because the garage floor is heated and that heat is on. But I'll walk around out in the rain here for you guys and just show you that pretty consistently the temperature of the driveway right now with the system off is still 38. And that's because the driveway has retained its heat from the day. There's the car. Um, you know, obviously the car is a little bit cooler than the slab but uh, yeah, as you look down the driveway there you'll see it's I would say anywhere between 35 and 40 degrees now when the system is on that's pretty much what it runs at is it heats this slab up to between 40 and 45 degrees so uh, when I fire this thing up I'm not really expecting it to take all that long to come up to temperature because the slab is already warm so that's another benefit of i guess turning it on now before the temperatures continue to drop and the slab really cools off so to show you guys a comparison i will take you in the garage here and i will fire up the flir again and we will recalibrate it here. And as you can see, depending on where you're looking on the slab, we are reading anywhere between 78 and 75. And the reason there's that variation there is if you remember when I built the garage, I, I posted pictures and all of this in the mechanical room series. I'll link to that above, but I'll also put a picture up right here. Um, the spacing in the front of the garage is six inches on center, just as it is in the whole driveway. Now, the reason I did that was because of the overhead door. It's the overhead door there. Um, you know, has a higher loss than the walls, there's less insulation, even though it is a nice uh, insulated garage door, um, 
as you get away from where it's sp- it's it's space six inches on center, and you start to get out into the twelve inches on center spacing, you can tell that the temperature drops off a little bit until the beginning of the next loop. And here you can actually see, if you look close enough, you can see where the loops are. So beginning of the next loop, uh, that slab is showing, you know, about 77 degrees again. And then as we continue to, uh, to walk back and we get away from that loop number two, we get back here kind of drops off we're down to 74 there and then we get to the very back and this is where loop number three begins and we're back up to that I would say 77 78 degrees and we're to the back of the garage so, um, you know just as a comparison to the driveway as you look at the uh, garage here sorry it's a little messy I've been doing some woodworking and some other projects around the house this is the center drain in the garage that leads to the outside uh, way down at the at the end of the driveway where the bubbler is um, and all of my downspouts empty into that so that's why that's a little uh, cooler but yeah if you look here you know the floor is a nice and toasty between 77 78 degrees for the most part and if you'll notice the thermostat on the wall here is reading 66 degrees so and that's with an outdoor temperature Today it was in the mid to upper 40s, like I said. So when you know when the temperature drops off and ends up uh, down in the 30s, upper 20s, you know this this seems to drop off and ends up closer to 60. Uh, it ends up like 61, 62 degrees. But um, but yeah. So anyway, I what I'll do is I will go down at some point here and I will fire up. The radiant. I'm not going to let it accumulate like I normally do for my videos because you guys keep requesting to. Oh, why don't you turn it on earlier? And and I understand. I mean, that's that's obviously the ideal thing to do would be to turn it on now, hours before it turns to snow and ice, so that it can keep up and just melt it, and we're good to go. And especially it makes sense now because the slab's already warm. It's already pretty much up to almost 40 degrees, so it's going to have to work that much less to get it up there it'll just be maintaining it right off the bat so i'll do that i'll set the gopro up here in the window like i normally do and i'll record a time lapse i can't promise that this one is going to be uh very exciting you might get to see it snow quite a bit and you might see it accumulate on the cars and all of that but um you know i don't know that uh it's going to be worth um watching if uh if you guys are into seeing it melt. So, yeah, anyway, um, I might pull that vehicle right there, my wife's car in the garage, to give you more of a shot of the driveway so you can see it uh, meld if we do really get all of this snow we're supposed to get. But yeah, that's the plan. So I thought I would try that on this one and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, uh, we're down here in the basement now. It is exactly nine o'clock on New Year's Day, 2022. And the rain has just started to switch over to freezing rain. So I just moved uh, the car into the garage, got the time-lapse set up and took a picture of the meter. Let's go ahead and fire up the snow melt. So I'm curious to see what our low point is here, knowing that the slabs are already between, I would say 36 and 40 degrees, depending on where you look. So it'll be interesting to see how low our returns drop to. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what they come up to. So um, once that hits 65, it will kick on the primary loop. I already have this set for a BTU reading, and we'll do incoming temperature on that. Oh, 
on the gauge here, we're showing uh, supply, which pretty much is the return right now because we don't have any heat. about 40, 50, I don't know if that's coming out on this camera or not. So the valve is completely open. Getting 80 degrees coming back from the heaters. We're coming to the heaters. And we got down to about 45. So normally we get down to about 35. So that shows you right there that uh, the slab is definitely warmer than normal. What are we showing down here on these new gauges? So here. 51, 50 coming back from the driveway. And we're showing we're putting about 80 to 81 back to the heaters up here. We're showing 78, 79, so. And here we're showing we have 137 coming in from the heaters and we're putting out about 80 degrees, 79.1 going out to the driveway. Which makes sense because we're showing a little over 80 here and we're showing 80 here. So yeah, we're gonna let it run. We're still at 45. So that's pretty much as low as we got, it's 45 degrees coming back, which is about 10 degrees warmer than what we normally get coming back. And again, that's probably because the slab is already nice and warm. It was 45 degrees today. And uh, we're gonna let this run. We're gonna let it run all night. And uh, I'll bring you back in the morning and we'll show you how we made out when the time lapse is running. So we'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is now January 2nd at almost six o'clock and I just shut the system off about mm, half hour ago and I went to pull the GoPro down and unfortunately it must not have been plugged in all the way and it only recorded about um, <laughs> I don't know, an hour's worth of time lapse at five seconds per picture. So I really didn't get much. And then the battery died and that was it. But it has been on since nine o'clock last night. And so I thought what I would do, I don't know how much of this is gonna turn out, but as you can see, the, the slab is dry here. Um, we did not get what they expected we were gonna get. Of course, we never seem to, but um, 
we got a couple inches I would say we got two or three inches of snow here um, and as you can see I don't know if you guys can see this or not but it did great uh, this is all dry out here this is uh, bone dry out here at the end of the driveway walkways clear a um, little bit of of wet around where the car was parked because I brushed off the car and then what was on the car melted but um, I have not shoveled the sidewalk or the apron yet so yeah um, as a as a saving grace to this video now that I just realized that there is no time lapse to show you I just thought I would do a quick uh, walk through here and also what I'll do is I'll do a walk around with the um, thermal imaging camera so I can show you how hot this actually gets and I'll insert that footage here uh, coming up in a minute um, but yeah again I don't know how much of this you can actually see but um, it is dry and clear and I didn't have to lift a finger and I don't have any mounds of snow over there there's a there's a video coming up from last Christmas of 2020 I'll, I'll upload here at some point um, in order as I'm uploading all of this stuff and you can see how we got hammered last year around this time and the snow was all piled up you know six eight feet high on the fence and that's just not the case anymore it just uh, melts off so anyway yeah sorry about that um, malfunction there with the power supply but uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, the thermal imaging walkthrough and we'll go from there okay so let's walk around the driveway with the thermal imaging camera here and take a look so this is the spot right in front of the stairs where all the pipes come out from the basement and as you can see uh, that's a little warm uh, the camera th this this attachment I, I bought this thing it, it it's cool um, it connects to the iPhone but it does need to be calibrated every now and then so some of these temperatures like obviously right there that is not 30 degrees or 29 degrees so every now and then I need to pause and hold my finger on the screen and recalibrate it which I'm doing right now and then you'll see it sh recalibrate itself there we go now it shoots back up to what it really is so really it's like 47 46 in those spots um, this is the loop if you're facing the garage to the right that counterflow loop and and there's the middle there so you can see uh, where the loops are separate and this is the loop to the left but if you'll notice I mean we're getting a pretty good consistent temperature across the driveway in the mid 40s up here um, now that is a little bit closer to the garage which the garage is heated and as I showed you earlier you know the garage floor is like in the mid 70s so um, as I walk down the the side of the driveway here there's a hot spot there because I had the car running for a little while while I brushed it off and then pulled it up um, so you know obviously that was sitting under a running car for 20 minutes so it's going to be a little warmer there but as you can see here my I mean I'm get I've got good temperatures across the surface of the driveway again this is that hot spot normally it doesn't get up to 50 but you know I'm, I'm typically right around that 40 45 degree mark which is pretty much what I designed for I mean <clears throat> excuse me I was shooting for upper 30s mid 40s on a surface temperature so and we're there uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm getting that with a hundred degree supply glycol going out and basically with it cycling off and on every time that drops uh, below the return drops below 65 so uh, here we are down at the end of the driveway and you can see where the loops actually end at the end um, and, and we're still 34 35 degrees there which is pretty good considering you know that's that's where everything stops and you it's it's funny I was I was sticking my foot there to see that we are still actually a good I would say eight inches back from that expansion joint where the sidewalk is and the reason I was doing this is I've I've had thoughts in the future about maybe running the uh, the concrete saw down about four inches away and putting in some sort of a channel drain here but you know that's always scary because i don't want to risk hitting those those pex loops but they are back far enough to where i think we would be fine but um anyway as i walk towards the front walkway here you know you can see uh again we're we're staying right in that mid 40 degree 
range on the slab. So, you know, in my in my opinion, I, again, I'm not a professional. I'm just a DIY guy here, but uh, that's pretty good. That should keep up with, you know, a, a decent snowfall, which it did here. Now we've got another event uh, coming up. Today is, uh, you know, the day that I'm recording this is, is actually January 5th. Uh, tomorrow, January, actually tonight and into tomorrow, we've got another winter storm warning event coming. That video will probably be out next week, but uh, we'll see. They're expecting, you know, a foot or more of snow if we actually get it, but, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it does. So as I'm walking over here in front of the side entryway, um, you know, again, I shot that. Now I don't have the staple up on in the house yet which is also a part of that side entryway that that slab right inside that door there is on the staple up zone so you know as you can see we're still 47 degrees on the surface of that temperature and the system's been off now for about 45 minutes at the time i recorded this i turned it off at 5 30 i think i did this walk through around uh six o'clock 6 15 so there's the counterflow loop that's right up next to the house and you can see where I left a little bit too much spacing there uh, where I looped it back but still we were at 40 41 degrees so not bad uh, not not bad at all I'm happy with with the temperatures and the consistency that I'm getting of course there's the hot spot right where everything comes out and that's you know always in, in other tests that's always been in the 50s but that's where all the pecs is all clumped up together and kind of neat. You can see the, the heat from the inside of the van there. But anyway, sorry about the malfunction with the time-lapse camera. That definitely won't happen again for tonight's storm. So you can look for that video next week. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, this imaging walkthrough just to see um, how everything went. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to, trying to get that subscriber count up there. And uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.